In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a extension into Dreamweaver CS3 or CS4. Um, the one I'm going to install is called the Lorem Ipsum Text Generator. Uh, basically that just could add dummy text to your web pages so when you're making a layout you could easily see what a bunch of text is going to look like in your web page. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the extension. Now I went to Google and I used the search term Lorem Ipsum Generator Dreamweaver CS4 extension. If you're using CS3 you could put CS3 in there instead. Uh, I obviously misspelled generator. Do you mean? Uh, and hopefully this takes me to the... yeah. I have when I put it in that way the second hit is from Technocurve. Now the company who makes this extension is called Technocurve. It's a free extension. If you go to their website, let's give it a second to load. Uh, their website's www.technocurve.co.uk. And if you take a look, I'm right here on the, I guess the downloads page. And if I go down a bit, you see the Lorm Ipsum and you see download the extension so you go ahead and download the extension and what you should end up with is an MPX I actually have two other ones I've downloaded them before is an MPX file so that file the MPX is the actual extension that we're going to now install into Dreamweaver let me show you how we're going to do that part so go ahead and open up Dreamweaver and under commands is manage extensions. Now the extension manager window is going to pop up in a second. All right. And you'll see up top you have the install button. So I'm going to go ahead and click install and I'm going to navigate to that MPX file I just downloaded. Hit select, accept the user agreement. And there we go. Now it tells you you have to restart Dreamweaver before it's going to take effect. Okay, so now I have this uh, extension installed. I'll close Extension Manager. I'll quit out of Dreamweaver and I'll restart it. And I'll, let me just create a new file. And now this Lorem Ipsum. Uh, extension actually went into the common menu. So here I am in design view. You can see that here's split and this big white over here is my design view. And I do believe it's this one. So it's underneath the common. You can even go to insert and where I always forget where these things are. Well you know what I'm just going to use the common uh, window over here and I put my cursor down over here I, I hit the plug-in alarm ipsum how many paragraphs do I need let's say I need five of them I hit OK Ah, and as you could see it just basically filled my page full of dummy text which could be pretty useful when I'm working on my layout and trying to figure out what things are gonna look like after I have all my content inside the page 